Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? Mm, sure. So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew Thanks. and I barely knew what to do around here the first We're week. We're old friends. Let's but Kenny, that. Well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Oh. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Is Matthew Gosh, that you remind guy? Me of my students. That I can't imagine dead. what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Oh, was he a teacher? Uh, hasn't been easy. Let's say that. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Uh. Uh, huh. looks great. <laughs> looks great. It looks like mush. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Again? Twice? Anyway, I'll take it from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look around the lodge. Yeah, let's look at the beach again. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not like Clementine. Oh, a CD. With a butterfly. Cousin Jarrett's concert, October 13th, 1998. Can we uh, use it, I guess? Now we're playing music while we look around. Okay. This is a big, big place. We got some people upstairs. I wonder what the secret mission is here. It's been a while since. I haven't seen What's one of these song, since. Good King yeah. Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. Let's talk That's with it. them. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You can't? You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how, how did you, you meet? meet Kenny? Yeah. I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just need the topper. Oh, God. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I recognize that voice actor. Here, let's head upstairs. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Yeah. You can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. I saw huh. lights. She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? But Kenny. Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. Uh, something Something's wrong. wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just uh. talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't mm. feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh, tree chop chopper. Well, we can pick up this ornament. We're not putting it on the top. Put ball on Christmas tree. 
No, let's uh, let's start with the angel first, because that's what Sarah wants. I need to put that on the top. There we go. She looks so cool. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met Where me, he called me is Vita. Matthew? So I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Matthew better not be Ken, that guy with the I wanted the bottom. to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I he didn't seems know happier. Him before, and, well, I'm curious. He the has same old good Kenny. days and bad days like everyone else. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, <laughs> isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always okay. has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Okay. Kenny does seem a little bit different. Maybe we can talk to Rebecca. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food mm. smells good, huh? It's yes, okay. can I? Can yeah. I? Hmm. She's going to be a runner. Hmm. Oh. If he finds out it's not his, they'll kill me. Uh oh. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I, I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? Ooh. I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. We're all settled down. Kenny's happy. They're happy. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Uh, just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got a pick. Who do I pick? Like, yeah, we've been friends with them for so long. But Kenny. Kenny. I gotta pick Kenny. Here you go, Clem. I'm sorry. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Luke, yeah. Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They Looks seem like a good nice. guy. Yeah, well, gators seem nice too till they bite your damn arm off. <laughs> I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? Luke? I think so. Yeah. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. 
Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. I can't right, leave Clem? my friends. I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. <gasps> Luke. Nick. Nick too? Awesome. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, okay. it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Huh. Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? Nope. The hell is that? A place. <gasps> oh, what yeah, Krista and I were a going good there. good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. Can What's the deal know? with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's uh, fine, Nick. We're not staying. Please She's don't staying. fight. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, yeah. please, there's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long day. Yeah, yeah. Please eat. <sighs> Pass me that can, duck. He said duck. Duck? Who's duck? Uh... Duck was his son. Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine. Would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? I'm so sorry, Kenny. Oh, he's still, like... Oh. Coiled uh, up. I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may mm -hmm. take a little time. Once they get to know each other. that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. Let's not what say you anything. Say? Will oh. you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Uh, you can talk to me, Clementine. People are chasing There's us. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? <laughs> oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure.
Who's that? Miss? <laughs>